Yo, what's up, buddy? Super Kill here, and today I've got for you a team deathmatch playing on underground using the MP7 and the sniper rifle. I have no idea what I'm using in this game. I got it like an hour and a half ago, and I'm like, holy crap, I have to post this. So, um, I record it and immediately put it into Sony Vegas, and I continue to play. So, I don't know. I'm using the MP7, I can see right now. And you can see that, but heck if I know, and look at them spawn here, holy crap, kept spawning and spawning, so I picked up the small and they freaking left. But anyway, they keep spawning there after I run up a little bit. Anyway, okay, so, um, guys, uh, I'm making this commentary now instead of later today, because my finger's bleeding and I can't play Call of Duty right now, so I'm gonna take seven minutes, seven and a half minutes out of my, out of my time to play, hopefully the blood will stop gushing out of my finger and I'll make this commentary, so let's get into it. Anyway guys, so I'm going to be talking about um, what makes Call of Duty fun and what doesn't. And um, it's, of course it depends on the actual game and if the game is fun. Now obviously, there's gonna if there's so much BS in the game, no one's going to like the game. Modern Warfare 3, everyone hated it at the time it came out. Because there was Dead Man's Hand, Second Chance was back after we all hated it. And, you know, Commando, like you just saw right there. And uh, just... It was such a pain because Assassin Pro was in the game and, you know, Assassin in general. Um, but that, I've talked about all the BS in, in the CODs at least once, if not more. Um, and the thing about it is, the BS is not only what makes the game, it's not the only thing that makes the game bad. And, or good, depend, you know, just depending on whatever you feel like. Because BS team might be like, oh, troll BS. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, what else makes a game fun is, like, I guess, I, I want to say friendship, but the thing is, I feel like saying friendship is odd because you can't really be friends, friends with someone over the internet until you meet them in person. That's kind of what I think. I mean, that's, that's probably for different commentary, but I guess, like, the friendship and all, I mean, you meet people over the internet and you play with them, like, Black Ops 1, I've, it's my favorite Call of Duty date. And I go back and I play Black Ops 1, and it's like, what the heck, this game really, it's fun. You know, it's it's original, it's fun, but it's not like what I used, you know, what it used to be. And that's because in Black Ops 1, I would get on every day, I would play with the same group of kids. I would play with one of my friends from, from school, I would play with one of the friends I met, and then this guy that I met, he had a cousin that I, I would play with. And then my friend had a cousin we'd play with. That's like, it's a five-person party. And we played Search and Destroy nonstop. We freaking played legit Search and Destroy. We trolled in Search and Destroy. We did whatever the heck we wanted. And that was fun, you know? So, if you're playing a Call of Duty, like, and that, this is probably part of it that makes, you know, Black Ops 1 not as fun for me. If you're playing a game, A, that you don't like, just because there's so much BS, or you don't like the way the weapons work, there's... You know, you know, the map designs aren't very fun, kill streaks aren't fun, you're not doing well in the game. That might be one reason not like a game, but if you if you don't like the game for whatever reason, and then you, you're not playing in parties, or like, you know, you've, you used to play in a party and now you're not playing in a party, that's kind of boring. Like, right now, for the past however the heck long it is in Modern Warfare 3 that I've, I've been playing Modern Warfare 3, it's fun, but it's not as fun as it used to be, and this, that's the way with every Call of Duty right now, because, A, my, like, my best friend ever in the world, he, he can't get on as much anymore, hopefully the summer will change that, uh, but he can't get on anymore, um, so, or not anymore, but not much anymore, like, he can get on during the weekends sometimes, so that's kind of a shame. All my friends that played Modern Warfare 3, we kind of just split up and we're never on at the same time or we're not playing together anymore or f I don't even know whatever reason so we're not playing together and it's Call of Duty is it's fun it's a fun game but you just got you got to interact with people and, and I don't mean interact like how you interact with the random people in the game how you know you talk trash and you're, you're a big douchebag to them, and they're a big douchebag back to you. That's not what I'm talking about. You gotta have fun. You gotta have a party of people to hang around with, talk to, you know, mess around, laugh, have some fun. The game itself is fun, yeah. But if you just want to play solo, I mean, I'm a big hypocrite for saying this, but if you want to play solo, that's what campaign's for. 
And, of course, I go and play multiplayer by myself all the time. That's what I've been doing lately. Because um, no one's online to play with or, you know, we're playing different games and whatnot. And, I mean, that's, that's whatever. Um, but, yeah, Call of Duty is, isn't made fun just because of, you know, uh, the campaign's fun or just because the game mechanics are good. Like I said, it, or like, just a minute and a half, two minutes ago, the mechanics are a big part of what makes the game fun. I mean, if I'm playing Modern Warfare 3 and I'm getting a 10 KD every game, I'm trashing kids. That's that's fun. It can get boring, but um, for the most part, it doesn't get boring. And that's just me. It just doesn't get boring for the most part. But I'm just trashing on kids, and trashing on kids is what I want to do. It's what a lot of people want to do. So they come back and they do it over and over again. Now, when it comes to a different game, if I'm not trashing on kids, I might not be having fun in that aspect. But if I'm in a group of, you know, if I'm in a party with a group of kids, that might be fun, you know, just talking, chilling. Because during the summer on a rainy day when you can't go outside, can't play basketball, can't hang out with the neighbors, not that I do that anyway because I don't really care. But anyway, you can't do that. I mean, what the heck do you do? You hop online and talk to some kids online, have some fun. No, I was about to deny this tag, but he popped out too quickly, so I knifed him. <laughs> Sucks for him. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of my take on what makes Call of Duty, Call of Duty, and what makes it fun. I mean, to be honest, right now I'm not playing as much Modern Warfare 3 as I should be. In the past month, like since May started, so I guess 25 days ago, I honestly haven't been playing Call of Duty almost at all. Like when I, whenever I get a gameplay and, and save it to my computer. If it's something that I want to post, I save it as March 21st, if it's March 21st. Then I, then I put the date of what it is. This way, whenever I go to the folder, I can search March. You know, if I search March, then I will know which gameplays I got this month. So we, that they're old, new, I can search them easily. Because I'm not going to remember every title that I... Or every title that I give a, give a thing. And anyway, look at the score right here. 98 to 99. Oh, I'm going ham. Going ham. Oh, oh, look at that. What? Wah, wah, wah. Anyway, guys, so I don't know where I was in that last sentence. Don't care because I looked at the score and looked at the gameplay video. And, yeah, we lost. I was literally one bullet away from killing that guy. I have no idea how he didn't die, to be honest.